Okay, so I'm going to make one of these David Austin cabbage roses that you're seeing everywhere at the moment. And there's not really a lot of material or resources online that show you how to make them. This is a bit of a work in progress for me because it will be the first time that I'm going to make one in this style. So what I'm going to do first of all is take a small piece of gum paste. This is the Nicola, Nicholas Lodge recipe and I actually added some CMC powder just so that it dries up really quickly because I want to get these done today. Roll it into a ball and then I'm actually going to do this in the shape of how you would make a sweet pea. I'm going to twist the top, make a cone and then actually flatten the inner side. So just pinching one edge between my fingers. I want this to be quite flat, not too bulbous, because we're going to be putting lots and lots of petals around each centre. I have a 22 gauge wire here. The reason I'm using such a thick wire is because there's going to be a lot of petals on here and a lot of weight, so you need something quite strong. And I've already put my hook in this, as you can see. Take some edible glue, dip this in, not too much, wipe off the excess. And then we're just going to insert this into the bottom here, pinch down so that it secures itself to the wire. But this doesn't have to be too neat because you're not going to see it at all. And again, I want to just squidge the whole thing between my fingers. So that it's flat enough. Because what's going to happen, I'm going to make four of these for the centre. And when we have these all, they're all going to be really close together. I don't want to have a gap in the middle. So they're all kind of close together. They need to start off rather flat so they fit together. So do that another three times, set that off to dry, you can just leave this in the piece of styrofoam, leave that overnight, I'm hoping this is actually going to set up a lot quicker, so we're talking a couple of hours, and then on the next step I'll show you how to make the petals. Okay, so I've rolled out some apricot coloured gum paste, fairly thin, taken my smallest rose cutter and just cut these out. These are about 1.5 centimetres wide, or long sorry, and I've done five of these. So I think I'm going to need about five per piece, but we'll see how we go. So what I want to do now is just thin the edges. Take my ball tool and then I'm just going to gently ruffle these edges. If you look at the David Austin cabbage rose, you'll see that they're quite ruffly in the centre, so don't worry if these really curl because this will help. Okay, here we go. I think. Thinner you can kind of go with the edges, probably the better. It should really help add to the effect of the middle. There we have it. Okay. These dro dried up, sorry, very quickly actually. With the Nicholas Lodge gum paste and the extra CMC. <clears throat> it's only taken about an hour, so they're still fairly soft, but I think they'll be okay to work with. I'm just going to cover this whole piece with edible glue, and then taking the flat side, the very thin flat side first, I'm going to take my petal and just curve this round as such. Tuck that under the bottom 
and do a nice curve here. I'm going to take the other petal, I'm going to do this thing, same thing on the opposite side and just tuck that round. And pull that in so they're both on opposite sides and then just squeeze the center together so you can't see the middle piece then take your next three petals with some edible glue just brush that on the bottom opposite side we're just going to touch this here we're just going to touch it and leave these pieces hanging out. Really, you can be as free flowing with this as you like. Um, so it doesn't have to be exactly as I'm doing it at all. These are not all going to be within the same pattern. But if you can kind of do the first two opposite ends, then I think you'll get quite a nice effect for the centre. So here we have the first piece. So it's nice and rough forward, really natural. And you can imagine if we do this with all the others and have them compacted together, you'll have a really nice start in position to build the rest of your rows. It's okay as well if you kind of flap down, that will really help with the effect because it's like it's starting to open up. So I'm going to get on and do all the others and then we'll come back and look at assembling them. Now what I've done here is I've gone to work on the second piece for the centre. And while this is still soft and the other pieces, I'm actually now going to push them next to each other. So I've just slightly bent in the wire with some pliers and now I'm just just pressing them. Be very gentle because it's still not completely dry and you don't want this to come detached from the wire. But the reason I'm doing this now while it's soft is it means I can manipulate the petals so that they hide any gaps and it also means that there won't be any gaps by the end of this or minimal gaps. If there are gaps, I'm actually going to let this all set up and then probably add a few petals into the centre when it's all together so that it looks really realistic. And what is good about using such a thick wire is it means that it's all going to stay really sturdy together and it's not going to flop down and I've just got a lot more control over what I'm doing. So I've tied my centre together, this is what we have and now I have here five petals, you might need a few more, and I'm just going to add these just around again just to give it the ruffly fill in the centre that we need that you do see on the roses. A bit of glue and again just try and be as free flowing with this as you can because there's such an unusual flower. If you do pull them apart, you can see that it's like every single petal is folded in on onto itself and then it kind of unravels. So it should give this a really natural feel. Actually, so what you want to do is every time there's a join you kind of want to put a ruffly petal amongst there. Kind of make sure you're sticking to keeping this round. And I think I'm going to put another one in here. Oop, I'm just going to curve this one over. This curved in there, which will look beautiful. And we'll add one more. So basically, it's kind of what I am doing is where there's the joins where I've pushed these 
the four centres together to make the one. I'm kind of just adding another petal. Um, a nice ruffle. And then I think I'll add another one here. And then you've got your centre finish. Now what you can do, I'm going to keep these quite closed and then have my larger petals now cupping around this so this is my centre but you can carry on and make this as open as you wish so you might want to just keep adding ruffled petals to make this a bit more open and then have your cupped petals but I think I'm going to keep it so the centre is rather small and it looks like it's still just opening up I don't want it to be in full bloom just yet